Hey everybody, it's Will here again. Hope everybody is doing well. And I want to take a minute at the start of this to thank all of the new subscribers and supporters to the channel. I really appreciate all of the uh, positive engagement and feedback I've been getting as part of the 365 Days of Guitar series. And I'm looking forward to seeing what the year presents for the rest of 2020. Today, we're having a look at another guitar. It's one of my personal guitars and it's one of my personal favorites. This is a Danocaster guitar made in Nashville and it's a Stratocaster type. This particular one is patterned after probably a mid 50s, so a 56, 57. It has, this particular one has an ash body. It has a maple neck one piece with Dan's soft V neck profile, which I believe the soft V taper for his guitars is based off of his favorite 56 Tele. It has nine and a half radius with his specific fretwire size, which I think is like an equivalent of maybe a 6105 that's been played down a little bit, or dressed down rather. It has a single ply 50 style white pit guard, and the pickups are made by the Arcane Company. I'm not sure exactly which models. They could be the Experience 61 set or maybe the Experience 54s. Either way, they sound fantastic. It has a standard six screw vibrato unit here. I'm not sure who makes it, but it's probably a Goto or Callaham or something. Same with the tuners. The, it has raw vintage springs, which are really nice. The whole guitar only weighs about seven pounds, roughly, which for a Stratocaster type instrument is, is fairly light and, you know, Hopefully the microphone can hear on camera that uh, it's got a lot of resonance and body even just when played unplugged. Something that's very special about Dan's instruments that he makes, he and the team make rather, is the feel of the neck. Now, I'm not sure specifically what Dan does to the necks, but I believe it's some kind of oil finish. It's the furthest thing from a heavy gloss and the it's a French polish style application, so it's just silky smooth, and it only gets easier and more fun to play the more that you dig into the neck and your own kind of oils from your hands kind of meld with the neck finish to just give such a playable experience. Another thing that's cool about Dan's instruments is that I believe he actually sets the, cuts the neck pocket a little bit deeper to allow the neck to be set in just slightly lower, which allows for a lower playing action and a slinkier feel. And I've definitely noticed that on the Danocaster instruments I've played as compared to other brands that make these type guitars. He also uses a beautiful nitrocellulose finish in the tradition of the classic Fender guitars of that era. It's very thin and very just authentic. It's not an overdone relic. It's not one of these heavy aged things. It looks like a genuinely played old guitar. And the nice thing about it is, is that despite the wear that was put on it from new, the people that have owned this particular guitar have played it a lot, including me. I've got thousands of hours on this guitar on stage and in the studio and many more to come because when I need a Strat style guitar, traditional Strat style guitar with the three singles anyway, this is my choice. I hope you get a chance to uh, enjoy some of the sound samples of this Danocaster Strat style guitar. And if you enjoy the 365 Days of Guitar content, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already or sharing this video or even a like or a comment really goes a long way. Leave your feedback down below. I really appreciate everything. And yeah, let's get into how this beauty sounds. Cheers.